boys and girls, welcome back to Storytime with Adele. Now today's story is Horrid Henry's newspaper. I love Horrid Henry. This is by Francesca Simon and illustrated by Tony Ross. Let's find out what sort of trouble Horrid Henry's getting into today, shall we? <laughs> this one is from my local library. Have you been to your library yet? Don't forget to go, there's lots of fabulous books. Horrid Henry's newspaper. Here he is. Chapter One. It's not fair, howled Horrid Henry. I want a hip hop robot dog. Horrid Henry needed money. Lots and lots and lots of money. His parents didn't need money, and yet they had loads more than he did. It was so unfair. Why was he so brilliant at spending money and so bad at getting money? And that mum and dad refused to buy him something he desperately needed. You have plenty of toys, said mum, which you never play with, said dad. That's because they're all so boring screeched Henry. I want a robot dog. Too expensive, said Mum. Too noisy, said Dad. But everyone has a hip-hop robot dog, whined Henry. Everyone but me. Horrid Henry stomped out of the room. How could he get some money? Wait, maybe he could persuade Peter to give him some. Peter always had tons of cash because he never bought anything. Yes, he could hold Peter's bunnykins for ransom. He could tell Peter his room was haunted and get Peter to pay him for ghost busting. He could make Peter donate to Henry's favourite charity. Child in need. Hip hop robot dog, here I come, thought horrid Henry, bursting into Peter's bedroom. Perfect Peter and Tidy Ted were whispering together on the floor. Papers were scattered all around them. You can't come into my room, said Peter. Yes, I can, said Henry, because I'm already in. Poo, your room stinks. That's because you're in it, said Peter. Henry decided to ignore this insult. What you doing? Nothing, said Peter. We're writing our own newspaper, like Mrs. Oddbod suggested in Assembly, said Ted. We've even got a tidy with Ted column, he added proudly. A snooze paper, you mean, said Henry. It is not, said Peter. Henry snorted. What's it called? The Best Boys Busy Bee, said Peter. What a stupid name, said Henry. It's not a stupid name, said Peter. Miss Lovely said it was perfect. Peter, I've got a great idea for your story, said Henry. What? said Peter cautiously. You can use your newspaper for Fluffy's cat litter tray. How rude. <laughs> Mum! wailed Peter. Henry's being mean to me. Don't be horrid, Henry, shouted Mum. Chapter two. Peter is a poopsicle, Peter is a poopsicle, chanted Henry. But then Peter did something strange. Instead of screaming for Mum, Peter started writing. Now, everyone who buys my newspaper will know how horrid you are, said Peter, putting down his pencil. Bye. Bye. We're selling it in our school tomorrow, said Ted. Miss Lovely said we could. Sell? Sell? Let me see that, said Henry, yanking the paper out of Peter's hands. The Busy Bee headlines read... Peter in the good as gold book for the fourth time this month. Henry snorted. What a worm. Then his eye caught the second headline. 
computer ban for horrid boy. Henry was banned from playing games on the computer today because he was mean to his brother Peter and called him wibble pants and poopsicle. The busy bee hopes Henry has learned his lesson and stops being such a big meanie. You're going to sell this, spluttered Henry. His name would be Mud. Worse than Mud. Everyone would know what a stupid toad brother he had. Worse, some people might even believe Peter's lies. And then, horrid Henry had a brilliant, spectacular idea. He would write his own newspaper. Everyone would want to buy it. He'd be rich. He would call his newspaper the Hourly Howler and charge 25p a copy. If he could write seven editions a day and sell each copy to 500 people, he'd make, uh, well, uh, multiplication was never his best subject, but he could make tons of money. On the other hand, writing seven newspapers a day, every day, seemed a lot of hard work. An awful, awful lot of work. Perhaps the Daily Digger was the place to go. He'd charge a lot more per copy and do a lot less work. Yes! Hmm. Perhaps the Weekly Warble would be better. No, the Monthly Mona. Maybe just the Purple Hand Basher. The Basher! What a great name for a paper! <gasps> Now, what should his newspaper have? News, of course, all about Henry's triumphs and gossip and quizzes and sport. Hmm, I wonder what will happen in chapter three. Please subscribe so you don't miss anything.